Hey everybody, welcome back to Twin Moons Tavern. I'm Uncle Carl. Um, this is day 26 of Quarantine Kitchen. 27. This series that I'm doing here is less about uh, following specific recipes and more about techniques and working with what you have. And I'm trying to push these out on a daily basis while we're doing the whole sheltering in place to try to give you know you guys as much ideas and ways to do workarounds with what you have available uh, during this worldwide crisis. Before I go any further, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Rebecca and anybody else who is under isolation because they are either waiting for test results or have gotten a positive test result for COVID-19. We are all rooting for you and our best wishes are going to you and just, just please hang in there. Keep on keeping on. All that being said, uh, today we're doing a rice dish. Everybody's got a lot of rice laying around and we're going to do risotto. Uh, I'm going to do a mushroom risotto and risotto is less of a recipe as it's more of a technique. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. It is a pretty much a blank canvas and you can flavor it in countless ways. And we're gonna go over that while I make us uh, some uh, mushroom risotto. So let's go ahead and get to it. So first we need to heat up some stock. Um, I don't have any prepared stock. I'm gonna be using some, uh, some basic bouillon, just uh, some chicken bouillon. And I'm making uh, four times the amount of stock as I'm gonna be making rice. So I'm gonna be making a cup of rice, so four cups of stock. If you're using a bouillon, then just kind of follow the directions that your bouillon has. And I'm gonna just eyeball this, cause I can, and I'm not all about recipes today. So that's about what we're gonna need. And we're gonna just let that heat up to a simmer and just kind of give that a stir. If you have stock, like properly made stock, use that instead. If all you have is bouillon, any kind of flavoring, use that. It doesn't need to be chicken, vegetable, beef, whatever you're, it is that you're gonna make, use something that's gonna complement that. If you have no bouillon, just water with some salt and whatever herbs or seasoning you wanna put into it. Now let's talk about the rice a little bit. Traditionally, it's made with a boreo rice, which is a short grain rice. You want to try to use a short grain if you have it available, because there's more starch in them. If you don't have a short grain, this works fine with a long grain rice. Uh, just, you want to try to use something with as much starch as possible. As we cook the rice, the method is going to pull the starch out of the rice and mix it with liquid, kind of making it a, a creamy, saucy texture. So that's why we want to try to use short grain rice if you, if you have it. But again, use what you got. We're going to work with our aromatics, starting off with a pan, getting it on a medium heat, a little bit of olive oil, and then another butter. Get that to melt. The reason why I'm using the combination of butter and oil is that the olive oil will help the butter from not burning. That's why I'm doing the combination. Not burnt butter is a good thing. I'm going to add about one half of a onion, small dice. Really doesn't matter the size that you're dicing the onions, uh, but you do kind of want them to be no bigger than bite size. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. You want to season as you go so that everything absorbs the flavors. The salt's also going to help uh, sweat the onions out. Once the onions have started to sweat, I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. I'm putting in a lot of garlic because I like a lot of garlic. Really, whether it's onions or garlic, uh, rosemary, whatever herbs you're using, uh, just kind of make it your own. I really can't emphasize enough how uh, much of a blank canvas risotto is, and you really just add stuff to it. It's really kind of the perfect meal for what we're doing here because it is so adaptable. Well, I got these just regular white button mushrooms. 
wouldn't normally be my first choice. They're like among the least flavorful of mushrooms, but uh, it's what I had available. Honestly, I could have gotten away with half of the mushrooms that I put in there, but we already committed. A little more salt. A little bit of black pepper. And we're going to let all this cook for, I don't know, another five, ten minutes before we add our rice. And after everything has kind of uh, wilted down a little bit, it's about half as much as it used to be in there. I'm going to go ahead and add my rice. Stir that in. And we're just going to let this cook for a couple minutes. And when I say a couple minutes, like three to five. And that's going to help it get kind of a nutty flavor. If you want to skip this step and go directly to pouring in the stock, which I'm going to show you here in a second, go right ahead. And then once you're ready, you just take some of the stock that you have simmering on the side and like take one or two ladles and pour that in there and give it a stir and then just let that stock absorb. And once it's mostly absorbed, just put another ladle or two in. And then when it starts getting dry like this, just add some more stock. As you can see, this is not a difficult dish to do. Uh, basically, you're just keeping on stirring it so it doesn't burn and pouring more stock in as you need it. It is a little tedious because what you're seeing here is really all you're doing and it takes about 20, 30 minutes to cook. But as you can see, super easy. Now to zhuzh it up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add some dried rosemary. You can use fresh herbs too if you want. You could use uh, oregano, you could use thyme, um, saffron, really anything you want to throw in here, anything that you like. I'm not sure you can see it, but it's already starting to get kind of a creamy thickness to it. Give it a little extra zhuzhiness. Gonna grate some fresh nutmeg into it. Not a lot. Not even a quarter of a nut. Give that a stir in. I'm not going to do any more seasoning until it's done or close to done. And then I do, I'll do a taste and then make any adjustments that I want to at that point. And that is the last of the stock that I have prepared. So let's give it a test. See where we're at. Mmm. Delicious. It's just about done cooking. But... To make it a little extra posh, I have some freshly grated Parmesan here. And then this is just extra that I'm doing. Don't have to put the cheese in if you don't want to. Let's uh, plate it and see where we go with it. And that's a lot. So it really is that simple. I cannot stress enough um, how versatile risotto is. Basically, as a base, you're using water and your rice and you're cooking it in that fashion. And then whatever you want to add to it, you add to it. Different flavored stocks give you different uh, results. You can do an all vegetarian or even all vegan version of this, really easy. Uh, you could go ahead and add meat to it if you wanted to. Chicken would work really well in here. Uh, ground lamb, ground beef would work really well in here. You can make it more savory, you can make it more sweet, give it earthy tones. You can pretty much take it in any direction. Mushroom risotto is a very earthy thing um, and very cheap to make. And uh, let's give it a shot. You can really taste the rosemary in here. I might have gone a little heavy on it. Just enough pepper for my taste. Um, the mushrooms give it a really nice earthy quality and it goes very well with the rosemary. The nutmeg. The key with nutmeg is to put enough in where it enhances the flavor, but not so much where you go, huh, 
there's nutmeg in here. So just use it sparingly and it really kind of amps up everything else. Hearty food, good food, easy to make, cheap to make, and you should give this one a shot. So all that being said, wash your hands, maintain those social distances. Please, please, please do not go outside unless you absolutely have to. And above all else, it's gonna be rough for the next however long it takes. Please be kind to each other. All right, well, we'll catch you here next time. Take care, peace. This is way too much for me. I'm gonna to have to make the boys and Vanessa eat some of this.